I'm on time. the phone line joined by BJP leader Priyanka Tibriwal as well. She had, in fact, uh, dared to take on the big names even in Bengal elections. Priyanka, this is leading to another scam after jobs for recruitment. How is the BJP going to step up the ante over this? Uh, he's not a minister in the government, so to say. Uja, the moment is not about what, uh, what will be the reaction of BJP. See, this arrest was imminent and we knew that this was about to happen because this person, from a very long time, all the scams, you know, they all turned towards Virbhum because that is a place which CBI also has proved that that was the, you know, a uh, uh, place from where things used to happen. All kind of, uh, you know, coming and leaving and escaping was through Birbhum because that's the border from uh, where they are, uh, you know, connected with Charkhand. So all this cattle smuggling and uh, uh, places from where people were, you know, escaping and getting things done was through Birbhum. So that is the reason that CBI has arrested him. And, you know, not just one cattle smuggling, there are coal cases, uh, there are other scams. There he is found do, do you think, Priyanka, recently. that this uh, really has become a big embarrassment for Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee and is exposing her claims of good governance and progress in the state of Bengal? Oh, oh they, this is a shameless government. This is a shameless government. I think any other chief minister, if, if there would have been any other chief minister, she would have resigned herself. See, half, now it is dozens of ministers who have been arrested including him. The others are all, all on bail. All her top cabinet ministers were arrested. They are on bail. Now, she should have resigned. This wasn't the mandate of the people. What do you say to the allegations coming in from the TMC or from uh, Mamata Banerjee as well that this all appears to be against her? Political vendetta against the TMC, not using at central all, agencies. Not at all. If this was political vendetta, tell me, why did they uh, remove Fatu from the post. Why did they uh, sack him from uh, the party? Because they knew that whatever has come out is true. Mountain of money which came out, which was recovered, that is not vendetta. That is the truth. Truth behind what TMC has been doing. And this is the deed of each and every minister of TMC. I am telling you there is a list of 18 to 19 ministers which is there with the ED. Look at the way they have earned money in the last 10 years. That has not been gifted to them by the grandfathers. It's the money of the people, of the Janata. Thank you so much, so Priyanka Tibrewal of the Bharatiya Janata Party, uh, saying that this is a shameless government of the TMC in the state of Bengal. Why wouldn't the chief minister resign? The BJP is clearly stepping up ante over this. Remember, this is the second big neta of the TMC, not a minister, but he has now been taken into arrest by the CBI. Also, BJP's uh, Bharti Ghosh had spoken earlier to my colleague Akshita Nand Gopal. Listen in to what Bharti Ghosh said. Finally, the law has reached his residence, has been taken into custody. I mean, this is the most logical conclusion that can happen. In a highly corrupted scenario, the entire uh, Trinamool Congress is involved in uh, corruption. And this corrupted leader, he is involved in cattle smuggling. His bodyguard has been arrested and almost 150 crores worth assets and other removal, removal properties and money has been recovered from his possession. And now this leader, Anubrata Mondal, has been named in the charge sheet. He has been served notice almost 10 times, and he has been enacting a drama. I mean, this is the most logical conclusion, that he should be dragged and taken to custody. That's the only thing they can say, you know, blame the uh, Bhartiya Janta Party. But it is not the Bhartiya Janta Party which has unleashed this. It is the Honorable High Court which has given the order for CBI investigation and the establishment and follow of the money trail. And that's what the enforcement directorate has been doing. So these are the BJP netas from the state of Bengal who are one by one uh, starting to react on this arrest by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Now just to give you a background, uh, the TMC neta Anubrat Mondal has been arrested by CBI after he skipped at least uh, two summons in the past three days itself. And that eventually then the CBI team went looking for you. So what you're looking at on your screen are what started from Arpita Mukherjee's residence. 50 crore of cash over 1 crore of gold that was seized. Allegedly, as it appears, it was in connection to the jobs recruitment scam. 
for the schools in Bengal, as she is seen close to Partha Chatterjee. Now, Anubrat Mandal, TMC leader, has also been taken into arrest. Suryagini, has there been any reaction that has come yet from the government? Because at this point, it appears that uh, it could be another blow for Mamata Banerjee. Her reaction is awaited. But do tell us about this specific neta as well. You're telling us he many call him uh, the Dabang or the Bahubali sort of a neta. He's not even a mantri, but does have political clout. But the charges are of cattle smuggling, illegal sand mining. All of these were building against him. Well, Pooja, you know, as we mentioned a while back, neither was he an elected uh, representative, neither was he a minister, but he was someone, yes. Anubrata Mandal was someone who had a very massive clout, especially in Birbhum. He is considered to be the all-in-all all when it comes to the entire, uh, you know, the entire area of Birbhum. He, uh, you know, the Trinamool Congress has not reacted to it. This is a second big blow where uh, one of their biggies have been nabbed by the central agencies and they haven't been able to react in this as of yet. Uh, see, the government won't react because he's not a member of the government. But the Trinamool Congress as a political party, uh, you know, they are still silent in this. And as we are mentioning, you know, just a while back, as you mentioned, that Partha Chatterjee was arrested. And it's not even a month that uh, the Trinamool has coped up with that particular issue of the entire Partha Chatterjee episode. And amidst that, you know, the Trinamool is facing this issue, which has happened today morning, where Onubrata Mondol has been arrested by the CBI. He'll be taken for a medical, then, um, you know, he'll be produced at the Asansol, uh, Asansol court. And, and, and in all probability, what we do understand from our sources is that he will be, you know, asked, the CBI will ask for a custodial investigation and uh, whether or not the, uh, you know, the court gives them the custody uh, to, to the CBI or not is something that only time can say. But uh, in all probability, he will, uh, you know, the CBI will push for a custody or custodial in interrogation simply because uh, 10 times, Puja, he was summoned 10 times. Every time he has uh, shown some kind of a medical uh, issue and uh, the, the reason, uh, the reason for him not being able to come ahead and join the investigation and on the 10th time that was last Monday he was in the hospital at the SSKM hospital uh, however the hospital authorities you know the agreed, that one of the that reasons that he decided to skip stated. the summons that the reason he gave was that uh, he was medically unwell so that was one of the reasons uh, with which he skipped at least 10 summons because remember Partha Chatterjee also claimed uh, he hadn't been well we saw the visuals of him in a wheelchair being taken for the medical tests all of this when he was in the ED custody well, absolutely, but the most interesting part of this entire medical fiasco was that in, uh, you know, ever since the Partha Chatterjee episode happened, uh, uh, and when, you know, uh, Anubrata Mondol went to SSKM, the medical board that was uh, uh, looking after this particular medical history of Anubrata Mondol clearly stated that in no, uh, there was no need of uh, Anubrata to be, uh, you know, kept in the hospital. And that is the reason why he went back to the, uh, 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 to his residence in Bolpur. However, that was the day that l the last Monday that we're talking about was the day when he was supposed to visit, uh, he was summoned by the CBI. He didn't go there. He went to the hospital. The hospital completely said, the medical board completely stated that you know there's no requirement for uh, him being admitted uh, and amidst this you know we see that uh, he has written to the CBI asking for more time because he's allegedly unwell he's not well um, facing a lot of medical issues and uh, today morning as we have been showing this that uh, the CBI goes to his residence at Bolpur in Birbhum and they nab him and now they're taking him for a medical checkup and uh, as per the protocol as per the procedure he'll be you know uh, Suryagini stay on with me